Grand Warlord Rada. This is a commander that popped up on stream the other day that caught my attention. She has two, a red, and a green for a 3-4 with haste. Whenever one or more creatures you control attacks, yep, doesn't even have to be her. Add that much in any combination of red or green mana. Until end of turn, you don't lose this mana as steps end and phases end. So at the end of turn, you will lose this mana. But all the time in between that, you get to spend mad amount of mana. So what are we going to do with this? We're going to do a classic gruel big stompy deck. We're going to do hydras. Are we going to do elves? Nope. None of that pussy shit. We're doing morph, baby. Thought you could just waltz in here and kill me, did ya? Well, so did he. Before we get into it, a quick rundown on how Morph works. Creatures with Morph can be played for three colorless face down as a 2-2 colorless creature with no type. You and only you may look at the card that's underneath. You can unmorph a morphed creature by paying its morph cost found next to the morph mechanic on the card at any time. Keep in mind, unmorphing a creature is a special action. That means it does not use the stack. So this is a very efficient form of removal, counters, anything like that. So you might see where I'm going with this already. Nantico Vigilante and Anok Survivalist, boom, artifact enchantment removal on a morph. The Lone Knight Hermit and Hooded Hydra filled the board with more bodies to swing with and trigger Rada. Morph is so good at keeping your opponents on their toes. Any one of these face down things could be a potential blocker. Oh, was it this one? Oh, I was one of what about this one? Are you sure you want to kill that 2-2 that's face down? What if this 2-2 that's face down is something else? There's no logic to it. You can just fuck with your opponent's head for no reason. Cards like Beast Whisperer and Soul of the Harvest are insane, seeing as we have 15 to 20 guaranteed three drops in the deck. With Rada, these can chain together, netting us an insane amount of card draw. Cards like War Cadence and Bedlam are going to make sure we get safe swings with our tokens and morphs for our Rada to just make maximum amount of mana. But with all this mana comes great outlets. Having some outlets to put all this mana into is super important. My favorite is Bane Fire for sure. Dumping all your Rada mana into an uncounterable fireball just seems really good. Captivated Crew is another one of my favorites and that's the key word, your favorites. That's why I like this deck because you can kind of get away with putting whatever mana sinks you like in this thing. Trail of Mysteries is great in this deck and it's because it only goes in this deck. It nets us a land every time we play a morphed creature and whenever we unmorph a creature it gets plus two plus two while obscuring Aether makes our morphed creatures cost one less to cast. Rushing the board with two two creatures runs the risk of board wipes and running out of gas. So cards like Praetor's Council, Long Rest, and Eternal Witness will give us a little more meat on our bones. And I know they cost a lot, but what other deck are you going to get away with playing these except for Rada? Caveman sum up of the deck. Play 3-drop. Make mana. Use mana to play more 3-drop. Flip 3-drops as toolbox. If you guys like the deck, do all that classic YouTube shit. You know the rundown. Appreciate the hell out of you guys. You're killing it with the subscribers and all this stuff. I I'm seriously blown away. Appreciate it so much. Much love. And go play some magic, guys.